The 19-foot protective seawall surrounding the Fukushima nuclear power plant, owned by TEPCO, didn't stand a chance against the 45-foot wave that hit the plant three years ago today. On March 11, 2011, a magnitude 9.0 earthquake shook the coast of Japan, triggering a tsunami that created the most disastrous nuclear spill since Chernobyl. The catastrophe caused the meltdown of three nuclear reactors at the facility. Radioactive material was leaked into the air, soil, and sea, and three years later, it's still leaking. Radioactive leaks continue to plague Fukushima. New Unit 3 problem found just two months ago in January of this year. The company said the reactor has been steadily cooled, but this isn't an isolated event. In August 2013, there was a 300-ton leak of highly contaminated water. This spillage was the most severe since March 2011, and TEPCO says it doesn't know how the water leaked or where it has leaked to. Then, just two months later, in October 2013, another 430 liters of radioactive material leaked from TEPCO's plant and may have flowed into the sea. Since the start of the Fukushima disaster in March 2011, leakage of radiation-contaminated water has posed a major threat to Japan's population, environment, and economy. But just how widespread is this disaster? The amount of noxious material leaked into the ocean is difficult to know for sure, but at least 219,000 tons have been documented. Traces of the nuclear spillage are being carried far off the coast of Japan by rain, wind, and ocean currents. According to the Center for Research on Globalization, radioactive water from Fukushima is systematically poisoning the entire Pacific Ocean. In April 2011, fish were caught with radioactivity exceeding safe levels 50 miles off the coast of Japan. As a result, scientists are looking at Fukushima's role in a number of recent natural phenomena. In Hawaii, extremely high levels of cesium and radiation were found in dead tuna fish in 2011. In Washington state, millions of starfish washed up dead on the shores of Puget Sound. Biologists found one species of starfish that's literally melting on the seabed. Scientists have not ruled out the effects of Fukushima leakage in the die-off. And in British Columbia, an unusually high death rate among orca whales was reported in October of last year. Researchers also documented puzzling behavior from killer whales off the coast, including lack of vocalization and smaller traveling pods. And in Southern California, an unusually high mortality rate of sea lions was reported in 2013, sparking a government investigation that included looking at radiation related to Fukushima. After almost three years, TEPCO is still facing a major challenge to contain radioactive water at the site. Amid harsh criticism and calls to put Fukushima-related work under government control. Earlier this year, a former employee in the facility said that one of the reasons for so many leaks could be the cost-cutting measures TEPCO has applied, such as using adhesive tape on key equipment. In Washington, D.C., Perry and Boring, RT.